What does the poker fox say? It says for one of these players, they'll become a millionaire by the end of the night. This WPT Foxwoods final table is filled with tough players like Jonathan Jaffe and Jonathan Little, and of course, tough talkers like Mike Matisau. Which one of them will make themselves an instant millionaire? Or will it be an underdog story like Charlie Marchese, who satellited in and got all the way to the final table? Mike Sexton and Vince Van Patten have the call. On to the next hand on the man from Long Island. Gotten this tournament through a satellite, Charlie Marchese. Looks like you got that shirt in a souvenir store, doesn't it? <laughs> Goes out, Jack Schombacher also out. I'm all in. Mattis out with ace eight says all in. Well, somewhat of a marginal hand, but when you're in a short stack and only got a couple guys to get by, you just move all in with the ace high and hold your breath. Well, it's gonna work because the rest of them go away. So Matisau getting on the board, finally taking down his first pot here tonight. Well, you're right. He picks up the blinds and antes, but anytime you pick up a pot, doesn't matter what the size is when you're on a short stack, you're happy to be stacking chips. And with that, the antes and blinds are going up to 5,000. Blinds will be 25 and 50,000. Well, there you're looking at a graphic that shows how many big blinds each player has left. As you can see, Mike Matisau, not many. It's over 100,000 around now to play, so you can't sit back and just wait for the big hands. you got to make some moves on occasion to stay alive. Mike Matisau Shemper in first position. Going to muck a jack three. Dragon going out. Now around to Jonathan Jaffe, our chip leader. One ton. He's got a pair of fives. He's going to come in for 110,000. Little out. Now Charlie not going to play. Mullen. Jack Schoenbach is going over the top with Ace Queen. He says all in. Are we playing fast or what? Well, he doesn't know if this Jaffe has a real hand or not, or just making a move because he's got the chip lead. You pick up an Ace Queen in the big blind. You always think somebody's trying to steal it. I call. Wow. So here we go. The classic race situation: the two over cards versus the under pair. Good luck, Jack. Good luck, Wes. Now Jonathan Jaffe, of course, has a monster chip lead and can well afford to lose this pot. Unfortunately for Jack Schoenbacher, he must win this race to stay alive in this tournament. Okay, let's see your Let's go, Rosa. Schoenbacher from Pittsburgh drove up here to Foxwoods for this event. And look at this. Oh, come Queen 10 4. All hearts. So far, so good. For Jack Schoenbacher, he is taking the lead with two Queens. Jonathan Jaffe with a huge flush draw. Can he bust out the first victim here tonight? Mr. Pittsburgh. Looking for a five or a heart. Well, Jack of Diamonds comes on the turn. King of hearts. So Sean Bacher dodged one bullet. Can he dodge another? God bless poker. <laughs> Mike Matisau saying his piece. Here we go to the river. The tennis fade. So there you go. Feels like we're at a Steeler game here right now, Vance. The Pittsburgh people going wild. A young man from Pittsburgh with his family and friends and Grandma Irene, 82 years young. There she is. Six players remain. Tremendous excitement. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action from Foxwoods in just a moment. Most poker players don't like rake, and that's why we're throwing you a party. During the month of April on WPT Global, there's no tournament rake. That's right, play tournaments at WPT Global and enjoy more money in the prize pool. There's zero catch, no tournament rake. Use the promo code YT54 and get your deposit matched dollar for dollar up to 1200. Looks down at an A7 offsuit. The Dragon making his seventh WPT final Please. table appearance tonight. That is an amazing record, folks. He has yet to win a title either. Here he's got the A7 offsuit. That's going to be good enough for the Dragon to raise, it looks like. And indeed it is. He comes in for 140,000. Into the chip leader, the young 21 year old Jonathan Jaffe, who has a pair of eights here. Got the snowman, makes the call. Little out, Mr. Long Island. Charlie also going away. And now Jack here with a pair of nines. Now Jack Schoenbacher has a degree in marketing and accounting from LaRoche College in Pittsburgh. 
And right now trying to account what to do with these two nines. He's just going to call with the two nines. And now it's on the mouth. Mr. Madison, and he's got an ace jack. All in. And he's going over the top, saying all in. That's, I like this play because two guys limped in behind the razor, so they don't figure to have ace king or ace queen. Go ahead and gamble with the ace jack here. Well, the dragon has folded. I call. Jonathan Jaffe has made the call with the eights. And now it's up to the man who has the best starting hand, Jack Schoenbacher. Well, Jack just won a nice pot a moment ago to move into second chip position. Does he want to jeopardize him here with two nines and a three-way pot? We know he's got the best hand, but he doesn't know it. He's going to lay him down. You got two nines over there? You're close. Well, Matisau put the chip leader on what he had. He knows he's got to win a race here, that's all. And what a race it is. Well, you, have two, you had the two nines, huh? The yeah, massive pot for Madison to win, $1.6 million. It'll put him right back in the thick of things at this final table. And look at this. He is exuding confidence, feeling that his hand's going to come up. He had a bigger pair than you. I thought he either had that or I, he had his quinn. He didn't I knew where you were at, and I knew where he, I knew, I knew, I knew for sure where he was, where you were at, and he was at. You had nines, so I, I put you on. Nines, I knew what he had, exactly I knew what you had, and, he didn't have, and my cards are live, and I'm, that's why I made the play. It's a good move, I made, I made the perfect read on the hand. Boom! Here comes the flop. Can Madison get lucky? Well, not yet. It comes queen three deuce. So Madison needs to catch an ace or a jack or two running cards to make it straight. Otherwise, he's going to be out in sixth place. Mattis out trying to stay confident. Here's the turn card. Will it help him? Well, it's there. It's a five of spades. That does give Mattis out a straight draw, meaning he can win the pot with a four now, as well as an ace or a jack. I win this. I win this tournament. I promise. But Mike Mattis out said, if I catch a river card here, I'm going to win one this turn. tournament. He needs an ace, a jack, or a four. Times. Otherwise, he's our sixth place finisher. Nine for Jack. It's a jack. He caught it. He has done it. Oh, look at the mouth. I told you. than a hippie at Woodstock. <laughs> yeah! I told you all, don't let me get back in it. Mike the Mouth taking a bite out of that pot. That's right! Well, I must say, in the history of his final table appearances, he hadn't caught any river cards to stay alive. Knew it was coming. Nice that, Mike. He's done it here. Let's see if that'll turn things around for Mike the Mouth Madison. Lucky, but at least I read the hand right. He is double dropped. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. Jonathan Little. Only 23 years old now. He's got those Elvis Presley sideburns, Matt. Notice that. Yes, it's sort of a John Lennon, John Hinckley combination, <laughs> I would say. Well, it's working. He's picked up a pair of nines here. Wow. Back-to-back -back wired pairs, and he's going to raise, making 125000 to go. Charlie Marchese goes away a 9-4. Jack out, Mullen. and now Mike Mattis out with ace jack says all in. David Pham going out. Jonathan Jaffe going away. Can I get a count? We're back around to Jonathan Little. He wants to know how much it's going to cost him. And what he's doing now is counting up how many chips he's going to have left if he makes this call and loses this pot, something every player should do in this situation. Now Jonathan can see he's going to have about $1.6 million left if he makes this call and loses the pot, so enough chips to play with. I'd be surprised if he doesn't make the call. Mike the Melt quieted down. He's, had, he's got the duct tape on right now. Won't say a word. He's got to sweat this. I'll call. Well, Jonathan's made the call. I wanted to be a coin flip there. And it's my lucky hand, boys. Well, the ace jack worked for him last time. He was up against two eights. I felt that's exactly where you were at. He says, I knew where you were at, so I guess he thinks he can win all these races. I didn't think he'd play a coin flip for half your hand. That is how trying to... Good luck. You too. Display confidence. It's not really lightning. It's can he do it twice <laughs> tonight with Ace Jack? It's a 248. And I put it in. I didn't call it. Mumbling poker figures in his head. One. I got it. Mike the mouth with his mouth dance. Saw him catch a jack on the river. 
the last time to John dance around the room, but so far. They make me sweat, don't they? He needs some help as it comes King 5-3 with two diamonds. Needs to catch an ace or a jack or two running cars to make it straight, exactly as he did before. And he doesn't get it on the turn. It's a five that pairs the board. This one's going to be tougher. So we are down to the river card. Mike Mattisau oh, must catch an ace or a jack on the river to stay alive in this tournament. He did it before, but not this time. Four clubs comes off. That is going to do it for Mike the Mouth Mattisau. He will be our sixth place finisher. Going to pick up 124,000. Well, the fourth time at a WPT final table, not the charm for Mike the Mouth Mattisau. He's going to have to wait another day to take down a WPT title. Yeah. That is right. The mouth has been closed here this evening. We are down to five players. Right now, Jonathan Jaffe, 21 years old, out in front with 4.9 million. Jonathan Little, WPT champion and WPT player of the year, has about 4.2 million. The rest about a million dollars each. Action right back on our chip leader, Jonathan Jaffe. 21-year-old from Connecticut. He's our chip leader at this point. Looks down at a 10-deuce, can't play that. Jonathan Little looks at the 10-9 of clubs, but lays it down. The amateur, Charlie Marchese, folding as well. Come on up. And Jack says all in. I don't think he looked at his hand here. You're right, Vince. I don't think he did either. That was a blind raise. But he's gone all in. Now, David Pham has it ace three of diamonds. Well, Vince, if the dragon saw that he didn't look at his hands, I promise you he's going to call with this hand. Sometimes a pro wants to make this kind of blind raise. Well, the dragon opts to lay it down. Yep. Oh, oh, and look at this. Unbelievable. Jack shows down two kings. Uh, he had the moxie to move all in in the dark there. A uh, second, a little did he know he had a pair of kings wired. Of course you're not going to go all in. You're going to suck your victim out a little bit. And he is stunned. He's walking over to his oh, friends. Oh, my God. Oh. This is unbelievable. Dude, I, I blind shoved the small blind. Blind shoved. I looked after I shoved. When he folded, I had two kings. I wanted to throw up. Sent me an orbit. Seriously, when you see it on TV, I didn't look. You won't know what my cards are. I said all in. I looked. I had two kings. Well, there you hear it. A blind shove, but then to see it backfire. When you pick up your pair of kings, it doesn't get any worse than that. Oh, boy. All right, back to the table. Well, not many times when you go on tilt when you win a pot, but who knows what will happen to Jack now. <laughs> all right, it's going to be on Jonathan Little, WPT Player of the Year. He quickly folds me 6-3. Charlie, the amateur player from Long Island, hasn't played much here tonight, goes out. And it's back on our friend Jack. Well, this time he's got the suited connectors, the Jack 10 of spade. He's going to raise it here, makes it 150,000 to go. 150. And the dragon looks down at the king Jack of hearts. Now he got out of the way a minute ago when Jack moved all in on him, but I believe the dragon. He's not going to throw this one away. And he is going to make the call. Jonathan Jaffe with just a jack four. He likes to eject the hand. All right, two-way action. King Jack up against Jack 10. And there comes the flop. Eight, five, three. No help to either player. The dragon quickly checks. Now let's see if Jack will make the continuation bet. No, he slows down there. Well, he checks right behind the dragon. Here comes the turn card. An ace comes off. No help to either player, but a scare card for both players. The dragon checks. How much you have, Devin? Like eight? Seven fifty, six seven seventy-five. Well, the short stack says I've got seven hundred and seventy some thousand left. Will Jack fire here with just the jack high? Well, he's doing it. Give him credit for that. 260,000 is the bet. Young guy from Pittsburgh does have moxie. He'd love to take this pot right now. Push the dragon out of this. Put him back in his cave. The dragon has no hand and no draw, as we say. Only way he could play this pot is if we just thought his opponent had poppycock. She does. Oh. oh, unbelievable. David, the Dragon fam has made the call with just King High here, folks. Feeling like it's just the best hand. That is the call of the night. 
Now the board pairs aces. Again, the dragon checks. And now Jack's got to be saying to himself, whoa, this guy called me on the turn. Wouldn't he call me again on the river after the board pairs aces? Will he fire another shell into this pot? Nope, he's going to check it. King high. Hmm? The dragon king high. announces king high proudly. Hmm? And folks, I got to tell you, when you're on the short stack, it can make a call on the turn like that with just king high. That is playing some poker. Unbelievable. Sick as ever. Dave fam. That gives you a glimpse of why this guy's made seven final tables on the World Poker Tour. Brilliant poker by the dragon. Stay with us. We're coming back with more exciting action here on the World Poker Tour. Most poker players don't like break, and that's why we're throwing you a party. During the month of April on WPT Global, there's no tournament rake. That's right, play tournaments at WPT Global and enjoy more money in the prize pool. There's zero catch. No tournament rake. Use the promo code YT54 and get your deposit matched dollar for dollar up to 1200 26-year-old looks at a nine, eight of spades. Well, he's picked up the suited connectors, Vince, and he's going all in with him. Yeah, he's starting to steam off a little bit. Might be bad timing because David the Dragon right behind him with a pair of tens. Eight. And the Dragon has 1.4 million in chips. Nice call. And he's going to make the call here with the two tens. Nice call. Our chip leader goes out. And now Jonathan Little looks down at a pair of queens. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. He's picked up the over pair over both of his opponents who have raised. One's moved all in, the other one's made the call. Early on, he had the kings when the mouth had a bluff and Fam had the little raise. It's happening again. He's going to re raise it. Well, he puts 1.6 million out there. Charlie Marchese going out. And the dragon only has about 600,000 left. There's nearly 2.5 million in the pot. I'd be shocked if he'd lay this down for a couple reasons. A, it'll give him a chance to win the tournament if he could win it, but B, even if he and Jack are eliminated on this hand in tournament poker, if two players are eliminated in the same pot, the final table, whoever started the final hand with more chips gets the higher finishing position. Ah, oh, tough decision, right? Meaning the dragon would get more money than Jack, even if he called and lost this pot. That's true, and the difference between fifth and fourth is about 60,000. So that is uh, significant and something to think about to persuade you to make this call. What? What do you mean? Now, Vance, you'd be fearful if you were in the dragon seat that your opponent had aces or kings or queens in this situation, because otherwise, why would he get involved in the pot? I know I got Jack beat, but uh, my hand could be dominating John at four. But the dragon lays it down. You got queens, Johnny. Yeah. Vince, I got to tell you, I could have never laid that hand down for 600,000 more mm -hmm. with two and a half million out there. I'd just have to gamble with the two tens, but the dragon's out of the way. Two players are fighting it out for this pot. Jack Schoenbacher all in with the 9-8 of spade up against the two queens of Jonathan Little. Now, Pittsburgh Jack needs some luck here. Here comes the first three. <laughs> Well, got it's shot. Jack 6-5, so the immaculate reception still alive here. Yep. Inside straight draw gives him some hope. He needs a seven, a walking stick. That comes up. He won't be walking out of here. He'll be staying. All right, here comes 4th Street, the turn card. Can Pittsburgh get lucky? Well, a six comes off, so we're down to the river card. Jack Schoenbacher must catch a seven to stay alive in this tournament. If he doesn't catch it, he'll be out in fifth place. Well, it's an eight. That gives him two pair, but not good enough. Jonathan Little Queens up, going to win this pot. Well, that's going to wrap it up for Jack Sean Bacher. Going to take home 182,000. And Pence, what about the dragon? He threw those tens away. He's still got some chips. He's still alive. That's just because I like you. You're a nice guy. Two are gone, four remain. That's right, the showdown in the forest at Foxwoods continues right after this. We also had another big name back in 92 at Foxwoods, did some damage. That would be Mike Sexton. What? You took the first <laughs> title here. I did. I did win the first World Poker Finals $10,000 buy-in tournament, and I'm proud of it. David Pham 
with an uneventful Jack-7. He won't play that. And round to Jonathan Jaffe on the button. He looks down at 8-5 of hearts. It's good enough for him to raise it. He makes it 130,000 to go. Jonathan Little has nothing and folds. So now Charlie from Long Island with an ace-4. Looks like he's going to come out of the closet here tonight for the first time and play a pot. How much do you have behind about Charlie? Uh, I wonder if Charlie knows he's at Foxwood. Maybe he thinks he's in Las Vegas. Maybe he thinks that shirt is going to fool these guys and that he's a Las Vegas pro. What do you think? A little delusional, if you ask me, but very tight player so far. Can he get lucky on this flop? Well, yeah, flop comes 10-5-3. Charlie's got a gut shot straight draw. He checks. 70,000. But Jonathan Jaffe with second pair, he's got two fives, bet 70,000. Now that's not a big bet into a pot that's got over 300,000 in it. Not at all, just a TC fly bet, and he's gonna get a call here. Well, that little bet has got a call. Turn card coming. Oh, a deuce comes off. Charlie Marchese has made a straight. He is checking it. 80,000. And this time, Jonathan Jaffe bets 80,000 with second pair. 80,000. Come on. But that ploy is not going to work. Charlie's going over the top all in right here. Doesn't want to possibly be outdrawn. The guy happened to have a flush draw against him, so he is putting it all in. Charlie works with trucks in Long Island. Came up here to take a shot to pay some bills, he said. Was winning in the cash games, and then all of a sudden, he decided to play a satellite for the tournament. The rest is poker history. Well, you're right, Vince. His friend suggested he play a one-table satellite for $250. Won that. Won his way into this tournament. Here he is at the final table with a shot at $1.1 million. Yes, he is. He's a father of three, and he takes his first pot here tonight. Nicely done, Chuck. And there you see his family is delighted. Well, Vince, I must say I'm a little baffled by that bet on the flop by Jonathan Jaffe, in my opinion. He's supposed to make a much bigger bet than that. Might have won that pot rather than lost it. Right now, the WPT Player of the Year, Jonathan Little, is our chip leader with 6.4 million in chips. In second place, Jonathan Jaffe with 4.4 million. Charlie Marchese in third place with a little over 1.1. And David the Dragon Fam in dire straits on the short stack. Charlie quickly folds. Well, Vince the Dragon has picked up Ace Queen. You know he's going to set all his chips in here right now. Please. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have too much left. David with Ace Queen. Very short stacked on the morphine drip. 280. Hold on. Sticks it all in. Well, every player in the world would do that with this hand in this situation. Now let's see what Jonathan Jaffe is going to do behind him with an ace eight off suit. Well, he's going to make a quick call there. Well, he does call the 280,000. Jonathan Little with a king deuce of hearts. That's going to cost him 220,000 to make the call. There's 640,000 in the pot. And he's got plenty of chips, so he's going to make the call. So the Dragon getting three-way action here. Not sure he wants it. Well, the flop comes 8-6-4 with two hearts. 150. Right now, the best hand is Jonathan Jaffe with the two eights, and he comes out betting 150,000. Well, he's hit top pair, but of course, Jonathan a little behind him. He is four flushed. Now recognize the dragon is all in, but the two Jonathans can continue to bet and make what's called a side pot. Here you see it being done. 150,000 bet and called, so we have 300,000 on the side. Little has the flush draw. Jaffe with the top pair. And a queen of spade comes off. That is the dream card for David the Dragon fam. He now is out in front with the two queens. But remember, the two Jonathans can continue to bet. They opt to check on the turn, however. Three of spade comes off. That's the dragon is going to triple up here. But remember, more betting can ensue. And with the checking on the side pot, Jonathan Jaffe is going to win that 300000 And there you see the dragon pumping his fist. The dragon triples up. So the dragon lives on here. And he is a happy dude right now. Well, Vance, he's liable to be blowing a little more smoke before this tournament's over. No question about it. Four players left fighting it out for this 1.1 million and the title.